Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Good to be back in the Taste Master Kitchen. So good, so excited. Everything is so clean and sparkly. Won't stay like that for long. What I'm looking for now is that additional flair. You know, that sense of innovation, that, that thing that sets someone apart from the rest. I always love meeting the new bakers and, of course, eating cake. <laughs> Each year on the Taste Master, we raise the stakes. And I'm so excited that the caliber of contestants just gets better and better. Yeah, absolutely. So I believe we have some of the most qualified bakers in the country today on the Taste Master this year. On that note, let's meet the contestants. Let's. Being in the Taste Master kitchen for the first time is a dream come true. I just wanted to curl up in a ball and just like scream with excitement. The moment has arrived. Welcome to the Taste Master SA 2023. Yeah! There's energy, it's just electrifying. It's so surreal. The level of competition has been elevated year on year. This season, it's all about baking excellence. The 12 of you have been hand selected because each of you have shown the potential to win this title, but you're gonna have to bake it until you make it. The pressure's on now, the three hour. Chantal, don't you want to move your hair out the way for me? Mm -hmm. I thought I noticed something <laughs> on you there. Um, since you wanted us to know your name straight off the bat, are you organized like that? Are you a labeler? Are we going to see a lot of labeling at your station? <laughs> I label everything. My last captain literally took away my label machine. My name is Chantal Slavitt. I am 33 years old and I come from Durbanville in Cape Town. I work as a chef on the yachts in Europe and across the world. I would say the biggest challenge working on a yacht is the weather. If you have rough seas, you might have to like catch a cupboard, hold a frying pan, stabilize yourself. That's definitely a big, big part of yachting. Glenda, you have your hometown backing you for this competition. Yeah, they can't wait to see me on TV and to be an inspiration to the young ones that are growing up in Toyando. My name is Glenda Ramatawa, the blue-eyed girl. I was born in Limpopo. I'm an accountant by profession. I run my own cake business on the side. To win this competition for me will just be some sort of validation to say what starts off as a hobby can actually become something quite big. Molly, you are the youngest contestant that we have here. Now, do you think that that's an advantage or a disadvantage? A bit of both. I think people will consider me an underdog, but hopefully I can bring some youthfulness to the stage. <laughs> My name is Molly Reed. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Joburg. I'm actually a schoolgirl, so I'm still in matric. Baking is in every part of my life. Everyone at school knows that I bake. Everyone who's ever known me knows that I bake. Damien, you seem to be a very calm, cool and collected character. Will you be able to maintain that posture during this competition? I think I could maintain it, but I suppose you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> my name, David Stemmers. I'm 28, I own a catering company. I stick to large scale catering, so we try and create food that sort of a fine dining restaurant would do, but not scale. This year's Taste Master will be walking away with some incredible prizes. 50,000 Rand in cash from Royal Baking Powder, 100,000 Rand worth of baking equipment from KitchenAid, another 100,000 Rand worth of appliances from AEG. Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> 250,000 Rand worth of prizes. This is insane. I'm in it to win it. I can't wait to get in the kitchen and bake. On top of all of that, the winner of Tastemaster SA will have an opportunity to solidify their career as a television chef as well as a foodie influencer. That is one of the biggest goals and dreams in my career. This is definitely a dream I've had throughout my life, and I want this really badly. My name is Nolan Adimolam. I'm a young and talented chef from Peter Malzberg, KwaZulu Natal. I carry the name of KwaZulu Natal very, very high. I qualified from Jackie Cameron School of Food and Wine. My strength being my finesse and my quick thinking on my feet 
and then my weakness would be my time management and then overcomplicating things. Right, so now that you know what's at stake, let's get stuck in. To get you geared up for the competition, our partners at KitchenAid has been very kind and they've supplied each and every one of you with your very own KitchenAid standard. <laughs> I'm shocked we have not even competed yet and yet we are all walking away with a beautiful piece of equipment for our kitchens. I love that that's excited you. <laughs> what's, even, what's even more exciting is that you'll each get to choose your KitchenAid colour that you can use for the whole competition. Woo! One by one, you're going to call out your name, you're going to grab yourself a gift, because we love a gift here on the Taste Master SA, and then you're going to choose your colour of KitchenAid. But the fairest way to do it, of course, is to do it at random, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got your names in the bowl here. Ooh, I went pink. I've got my eye on the mint green one at the back. First up... Alam! <laughs> Being called first and getting the first choice feels amazing. I'm thinking the present is a prize, but we just got a KitchenAid, so it's got to be something to do with the challenge. Let's take cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm scanning for that yellow one. I'm beelining towards it. My name is Maslodi Lisol Matiludi. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Boxburg in Gauteng. I work as a writer, but I'm a home baker as well. Right now, I'm currently working on my debut novel. The badge I'm wearing is an indicator that I'm in mourning. Since my brother passed away earlier this year, this is just a sign to show people around me that I have someone in my family that I've recently lost. Damien! Yeah! <laughs> that platinum silver is mine. Max. Yay! <laughs> Chantal and I have a little rivalry about who's going to get the Pernes and KitchenAid, but my name has been drawn first, so I'm picking that one. Chantel! Yes. <laughs> I'm next, I'm next! Ah. Lizelle. <laughs> I've got my second choice. Bongani! Yeah. Ah. I want nothing but black. It wasn't the black chef. Palissa! Yes. <laughs> I think this little present box is ingredients of what we're going to use. I'm just so curious to know. <laughs> I'm so excited because Miksa Okusebi Sam Kung Kung is just crying for help. No land. <laughs> I pick up the present and I give it a shake just to listen to what's inside. I'm thinking maybe it's a gift, like a cup or something, because you can hear glass inside. Glenda, I see you! <laughs> I'm lost. It is so awkward to be standing there alone. Last but not least, Molly, it's you, and you wanted that one anyway. Hey. To get a KitchenAid is insane. It's like. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I'm sure you're all very curious about what the theme of your first bake will be. Well, inside your gift boxes lies a clue. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open them up and show us what you've got. <laughs> oh, we're getting spoiled. Yeah. What could it be? I'm so surprised. It's dark chocolate in a jar. Wow. <laughs> I got citrus. Apple in the is cinnamon sticks. Oh. Cardamom! Yes! I find macadamia nuts. And I see little blocks of white heavenly chocolate. What have you got? Robots. <laughs> Where am I gonna use this? <laughs> lavender. Mudimo Khozo lavender. I've never baked with lavender before. Honey. I got honey. This has got an apple. What am I going to do with this apple? What's yours? Coffee. Coffee. I actually love coffee flavored things. I got peanut butter. In your possession is an ingredient. This will be the hero ingredient for your first bake. Staying true to the Tastemaster tradition, it'll be a two-layer cake. <laughs> but you won't be going at it alone. <laughs> Under your mixing bowl is a coloured sticker. You will be pairing up with the contestant with the matching colour to yours. Together, you will produce a bake that heroes both ingredients. I don't like working in pairs. I don't think I'll do well. Find your fellow colour sticker mate. And then my mixing bowl is this blue dot. Chantal has the other blue dot. I have to make a cardamom cake and then I get paired with someone with coffee. What am I going to do? I have a blue sticker and I see Damien has a blue sticker. Apple and rainbows. Not bad. <laughs> Ooh, there's a yellow dot under my bowl and I'm paired with Nolan. Pali has peanut butter, and peanut butter and dark chocolate work marvellous together. I've got red under my mixing bowl, and I find 
Fungani has red under his as well. Honey and cinnamon are two great flavors. I'm with beautiful Annam, and she's got macadamia nuts. I've never incorporated citrus and macadamia nuts in the cake. I'm feeling very nervous about the challenge. <sighs> I'm working with Kifile, and she's holding lavender. It seems like this isn't, the competition is going to be a bit tougher. Contestants, are you ready to bake more memories? Why not order from your oven? With precision, raise your standards and make it matter. AEG, challenge the expected. Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. So what are we baking for? The winning pair from today's challenge will each walk away with a 42 litre AEG convection grill oven with a built-in air fryer to challenge the expected in the kitchen. Oh, I'm driven. That microwave, it's mine. As well as one of these. <laughs> this is the Royal Baking Powder pin. This year, winning the Royal Baking Powder pin will give you a very handy advantage in the next round of competition. Thereafter, you'll return the pin and it'll be back up for play once again. Winning the Royal Baking Powder pin will give me confidence going forward to the competition. We all think we're going to do well mm -hmm. and just imagine you don't and you, you wish know, you had, had the pin. <laughs> Unfortunately, the bottom three performing teams will move into our first elimination challenge. I would be devastated to end up in the elimination challenge so early on. I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I don't want to be in the elimination challenge. You have two and a half hours for this bake. Your time starts in three, two, two one. one. Let's bake more memories. Starting off with a team challenge, I think it's a bit scary because your fate relies on somebody else. I'm feeling more nervous than ever. Feeling the pressure, definitely. So far so good. I'm actually enjoying working with my teammates here. Yeah. I feel excited to be working with Damien, but at the same time, I'm scared. I don't know how our images will sink. We're making a hot milk sponge. We're infusing it with the rainbows. So we're starting with a hot milk. A hot milk sponge is different to a regular sponge in the way that you've got to cook the milk. We are going to be making a honey cake with a cinnamon icing, a honey and cinnamon filling, and some honeycomb on the top. And um, we have only had three fights already, and we're three minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> we are making a cardamom and coffee cake. Our idea is dirty chai. <laughs> <laughs> Talking streets of India, milky, coffee-y, chai-y, just like mm. aromatic flavors. Oh, let me get the bacon in the oven. Look at me. I've got uh, dark chocolate as my flavor, and paddy has got peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter are like basic ingredients. They go so well together, but we thought everybody's going to be thinking, that's like so simple. But we thought we'd just add that, that risk element. Yeah, I love bacon. <laughs> <laughs> what we're planning to do is a very decadent, moist, dark chocolate sponge with a very rich and creamy, caramel and peanut butter filling. The bitterness from the dark chocolate, the saltiness from the bacon and the sweetness from the peanut butter. It's all going to be in a cohesive cake in the sponge. Things are going great with my teammate. She's such a darling. She's a very calm person. I think we have a great balance going with our workflow. We're trying to get the cakes in as quickly as possible. I really don't want to be in the elimination challenge. Both of us must go through the top three. So we're making a vanilla cake and we're going to soak it in a lavender syrup and then we're going to have white chocolate incorporated into the cake two different ways, a caramelized white chocolate and a normal white chocolate ganache frosting. I think our combination is very good. It's uh, macadamia nuts and citrus. I'm quite nervous, but I'm looking forward to see yeah. what happens in the kitchen. Whatever happens, happens, yeah, happens, but we'll give it our best, best shot. Do you uh, work with your students, so I keep calm and they go crazy. <laughs> I feel like a student now. My name is Anam Nkonzo and I am a qualified chef. I'm still young in the industry and I bake as a side hustle. Our combination is so good. She's like my daughter already. Today we are baking a macadamian and citrus, citrus cake. cake. 
Yeah, sponge cake oh, with a macadamia cream cheese filling and a country filling and macaron. Hello, Team Apple and Rooibos. How are things going? It's going good. Linda, what are you on, up to there? Caramelizing um, chocolate. Yes. Delicious. It's to be part of our, our cake filling. Linda, your eyes are so beautiful and so distracting. I want <laughs> yeah. to say Did I heard. Yeah, I want to say I heard every word, but I was so mesmerized by your eyes. Beautiful. Thank you. So you were born you. with half blue, half brown eyes. Yes, I was born with blue eyes, partially blue, one on top, one at the bottom. And when growing up, kids at my school would constantly be asking me, "Do you have cat's eyes? What's happening with you?" And I would put on brown lenses. But as I grew older, I got to love what God gave me. I'm using the Royal Baking Powder to. Well, sift to build my dry ingredients, but I need a bit of love. So I'm going to put a little bit extra. You're not supposed to, but I'm going to put a little bit extra in. But that little bit extra is that soft buoyancy. That is a lot of cardamom. And cardamom is one of the stronger spices. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Okay, is there a team leader here? What would you say? I think we both have very strong personalities okay. and different strengths. I think we play to our strengths. I'm totally yes. super organized. Working with Molly, it's very great because Molly gives me so much energy because he's the youngest in the group, so to me it's an advantage. He's so calm. Our strongest point is we're not competing but complementing each other. What are you making over there? I'm making my filling for the cake we're making, so we're combining the two flavors, honey and cinnamon. Okay, so what is the filling? The filling, uh, it's a roux with a buttercream made with caster sugar. My name is Bongani, I'm from Port Elizabeth. Well, I got a formal training from Capsicum Culinary Studio. Uh, I'm a self-taught baker and also I'm an assistant chef. Baking plays a vital role in my life because every time I get challenges and meet difficulties in my life, I always go to the kitchen and bake because baking is therapeutic to me. Contestants, you have two hours left to complete your bake. Let's go. Yay! Let's go, let's go! So it's a, it's a triple layer cake? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Bring sweet nothings to each other. The sweet nothing <laughs> works perfect. It, it looks a little... Burnt. Carb yeah, you say burnt, I say flavour. <laughs> no, no, Zola, it's not burnt. It's hard. It's, it's, it's flavour. Flavour. Yeah. Hello, ladies. Hello, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Very well, thank you. Good. How are you? Good, Good thanks. Good. Uh, okay. We're currently caramelising our white chocolate in the microwave because we don't have enough time to do it in the oven. So we're using like a little home baker. <laughs> are you guys quite similar in baking style? Her strength is definitely decorating and making the cake. So she's in that department and I'm working on all the fillings. At the beginning of our bake, Fifi said to me, Lesoho, I trust you. And that just solidified my confidence in her and in myself because we just trusted each other. Uh, I love her. No, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Masedi Matilidi. I am 26 years old and I'm from Boxburg in Gauteng. Baking has always been a big deal in my family and I took some time off my creative writing career to focus my time on baking and just pursue my passion. If you want a man, <laughs> cook for him. I feel excited for Mashori entering Taste Master competition. I feel like it's something that she needs right now, especially because she's going through grief. It will help her to excel in this competition in terms of motivation. I entered season four of Tastemaster Essay because my nephew encouraged me to do it. It's a show we enjoy watching together and he was really excited about me entering and I wanted to make him proud. I asked my auntie to enter so we can help the family grow and maybe get a business. To auntie, I want to say have a good time and good luck. The first color, I think the first color was nicer. Just Get it in the oven. You're not listening. Yeah. You're missing. No, there's no sleep. Hello, ladies. Do you need to break up an argument? Do you need, do you need a referee? What's going not on? Not at all. Not at all. No. Tell us what you're making, ladies. We are making a citrus and macadamia nut cake. Okay. So we roasted our nuts. Get quickly. <laughs> Babe. Oh, go on. This is not working. Oh. Okay. We roasted our nuts. Uh -huh. And we incorporated that into our batter. I had some citrus zest and a bit of the juice. Okay. So the middle layer will be macadamia nut cake, and then the top and the bottom layer will have the citrus in it. It's a triple layer cake. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. You're, yeah. taking, you're giving us an extra layer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. I hope yeah. that earns us an extra, yeah, extra point. Extra points. <laughs> Coming up. 
With pressure mounting in the kitchen, will Chantal and Max maintain their composure? Choose Parmalat for better meals, better desserts and better times together. Parmalat makes life better and better. Parmalat. Oh wow, this is nice. That's our stock soup. Even our apples are not losing shape, which is a good thing. Cakes are rising, and apples are roasting. Okay, we got one hour and 40 minutes. The butter's not in there, right? The butter's in there. No way, you have to clean the butter and you add slowly the sugar, 100%. There's no way you can get a cream butter cream like this. I'm sorry. Can I clean for us and then you sort that out? Sure. Ladies, I hear an intense conversation going on. What's happening? Hmm? Uh, we are cleaning and clearing as we go. Okay. okay. Before you're cleaning and clearing, what were you discussing? We heard you. We heard Nothing. you. This is my honesty hour. Yes. <laughs> oh, what are we're you trying making? to make some pretty much American butter cream American frosting. American butter cream. Okay. So I just want to whip the butter before we add the sugar all at once. Okay. So we can actually aerate the butter a little bit. And if you just whip it together and aerate it together? I just think it's going to be a lot more dense because you get the air bubbles kind of in the butter when you start first whipping and then you slowly add the sugar. I will die on an American butter cream hole. Yes, I will. Because we want a light and fluffy cake, we will whip that butter. I'm still doing the honeycomb. Okay. My honey, honeycomb actually didn't work because it was a recipe I didn't know. So I'm trying normal honeycomb now. Hopefully that can work. It's one thing tasting all the elements separately. It's another thing having them go together. Any flavors that you're weary about? I would say the misuse of lavender. I mean, that can just be so overwhelming and off-putting. For me, I think um, Nolan and Palesa are doing peanut butter and chocolate. Yes, classic combination. Is it necessary to add that you know salty bacon element? You know, weird combinations always work. Uh, and I think uh, my personality and Paddy's <laughs> personality, we just work together. We're two different people, but we work together well. Everything so far is going brilliant. Our filling is ready, garnish is ready. We're about to move into our frosting, our caramel, our chocolate's done, our rooibos salted syrup is done, our cakes are going. Everything's added. Having so much fun and learning from each other because some of the things are new to me, some are new to him, so we basically uh, cross-pollinating. Things are starting to go wrong because our cake is not looking promising. Contestants, we are one hour in, 90 minutes remain. Let's go Amazing. for it. <laughs> hey, come on, do this. Yay! It is one hour, so we're actually okay. Holy smokes. We're doing good, let's just keep pushing. More chocolate. Um, more chocolate. So you caramelized it to this stage because you wanted the texture? Yes. Okay, so you wanted like a seized chocolate texture, crumble. Yeah, yes. but after okay. we're done blitzing, it will not look like that. Okay. Our apple puree has a touch of the milk tart, Pamela's milk tart yogurt, and it just elevated the flavors. This cake needs to come out. Relax, girl. What's that over there? This is my failed honeycomb. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if the ratio was wrong or something. It just didn't bubble up like it usually would when you had the bicarb. Oh, I see. So does this batch not have any honey? No, it doesn't. So it's just honeycomb. So you're happy with this one? Yes. No, that looks great. Thank you. <laughs> well, Gani, you're a man who doesn't stress in the kitchen at all, hey? Are you just always cool I'm, and I'm calm? I'm just calm. Kitchen <laughs> is my favorite place. This is my domain. Oh, I love yes. that. This is my domain. Our cakes are there's a little bit too much batter for the um, cake tin size. So they're rising a lot. This AG oven is super big though, so luckily we can just cook all the cakes at once. We just have to smoke our buttercream. Okay, talk us through the yes, smoking part. We're very part. curious okay. about okay. that. So that's we were so inspired by uh, the masterclass with Kanya last season. So we wanted to like do a play on Oh, and then have this instead of instead of impepo, lavender. Lavender. Yeah. Okay. So you're smoking the buttercream. Yeah. Okay. But you're already concerned that you have too much lavender flavor in your syrup, but you're adding another lavender component. This is a sensory experience. I should I want to the apple? Huh? You can taste the apple. Hmm. This is actually um, our filling. I'm struggling to get the balance of the coffee and the cardamom right. I think the cardamom levels are fine, but we need more coffee. That's what we really need. I actually think we need more cardamom. <laughs> Contestants, you have one hour to go. I hope your cakes are cooling by now. Come on, let's, let's go. go. The cake is not yet. Ah. Mm. This is really good. 
Okay, we're getting ready to smoke our cream cheese frosting. I will be smoking it with a little bit of lavender and some applewood chips. Have you smoked at all before? I've like never it? smoked, but <laughs> it's always a good day to try something new and make memories. Okay. The first thing that came into my mind when I thought of lavender was soap. And I was like, I don't know, our cake is gonna taste like soap or something. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Kifle Mukotedi. I'm 37 years old from Middlelands in Soweto. I run a baking business called Cabo Pastry Creations. Every day is a baking day, baking is my life. When customers come to collect cake, seeing that smile makes my heart get a facelift. Two years back, I lost my mom and it put me in a position whereby I even felt like quitting the whole thing. So I feel like and being part of this competition will encourage me to push more and to bring back my baking mojo. I need to cool these cakes as fast as I can. And ask the cake. And ask the cake. <laughs> I trust you, but one thing that I don't trust are your taste buds. <laughs> my palate is sensitive. Let's say who tried the smoke on the buttercream. The add of smoke to it, I, I can't see that being beneficial. Ooh, smoky. <laughs> Are you still going to use the scale? I'm not happy with my meringues yet. I just want you to get a little bit more stuff. Are you winning? Yeah, I'm almost done. Need you like a like a nest vibe? Oh, I can do that. Are you almost done? No, no. Are we using the the, the smoked buttercream? Are we not? We are going to use it. You're going to use it. So who won that battle? When I win a chicken <laughs> dinner. <laughs> You're chopping gooseberries. What are you doing? We're going to use it to decorate. It doesn't really go with the theme, but I think fruit will bring a nice balance to it, hopefully. So you just said it doesn't really go with the theme, but you're using it anyway. I think because our cake is going to be very sweet. So maybe having the gooseberries there will help a little bit. I'm happy with my icing, with the way it's set. It's not runny. So yeah, I need to go. <laughs> Are you an expert at macarons? Is no. it something you make often? I wouldn't say I'm an expert. I work best under pressure, so I'm, I'm sure they'll work out. What are you working on? Tempering the chocolate and then just creating... I'm not sure what yet. <laughs> <laughs> what are these for? It's also decoration? Yeah, these are purely oh, oh decoration. It's not very, very crisp. Is it, is it cooked enough or was that the plan? This is part of the plan. We've oh. made it part of the plan. It's so good. <laughs> And you at home can also bake more memories by getting involved in this week's viewer competition. We would love to see your version of today's challenge. Bake a two-layer cake using royal baking powder as well as two of today's hero ingredients. Upload it onto socials using the hashtag TheTasteMasterUSA and you could win a KitchenAid stand mixer as well as a Pamela tamper. That's right. Get baking. Good luck. As the first challenge comes down to the wire, for Annie and Lizelle, it's an emotional moment. Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. What difference is cutting off another half centimetre going to make? Wait, stop. Lift, I please. know I haven't made Lift. a damn wall. May I? Lift. Why? It's not going to move. Contestants, we are in our final 30 minutes of our first challenge. Get decorating. Almost time. I am trying to make this very soft filling and cake actually not fall over. Everything is so warm, running out of time. I'm saying prayers. Is this going to come off the top? I think we were, we were supposed to whip it a bit more. Will you finish the creme layer and then I'll put the soda on it? Personally, I'm calm and I feel we stand a chance. It's still what? Oh, look at the bottom layer. We actually thought we had more time. I've been doing this for more than years. On the side of the cake, the chocolate actually set before we could make the drips, but I just put it in the microwave just a few seconds and yeah, back to normal. It didn't do anything in the fridge. It's slipping and sliding. Oh, 
crowds of people behind us doing. There's a lot of naked cakes. Are we gonna win this? <laughs> I think so. Put a stick quickly. At the centre. One stick. Yes. Quickly, my darling, please. Contestants, you have 10 minutes left of this challenge. I hope your final steps are being put onto your cake. <laughs> Hold on to this while you're doing that. Ay, ay, ay. Her smile seems to, is telling another story. She's smiling from ear to ear. Because I like... know the taste. You can even trip it from this side. Ten minutes enough, ladies? Yes, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> We're going to try our best. This is just splitting, splitting, splitting. Macarons are melting. Cake icing is melting. We are all over the kitchen. It's too much to take in. The cake is stressing us out, the icing is stressing us out. It is too warm. This is a problem. It needs to cool down. Everything is melting. Why is this happening? Be careful. Yeah. Hey, we're not. Can I put the macarons in the fridge? Apart from everything going wrong at this point, we are definitely confident, Very confident. about our sponge, the flavour. We did infuse a lot of macadamia nuts mm. in there. Hopefully we'll be able to make something out oh of what God. we have. The cake is in the fridge. We're going to take it out at the last 30 seconds. OK, I'm going to put it on the side now, no? No, no, no. Let's just put it on there first. Dude, we've got less than five minutes. Can I please just put this no, on? No, because I'm going to lift it on there, so it's going to move. OK. <laughs> Don't say that, I was going to say it be. I should pat some pistachio around the bottom. Okay. Okay, Max. We're not putting it on the whole side, we're just going to do one or two things. I love yeah. yours. So uh, fancy. Okay. Would you want it on top? Where do you want it? On top. It's not going to be on top, Max. I'm telling you now, it's not going to be on top. Oh, yes. my word. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Wait, wait. Wait, let's add some. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Step away from your cakes, everybody. Oh no. <laughs> The end was amazing. We worked well together. To work with her. And the planning, we executed it well. And yeah, they, we just hope that our two ingredients will come to life. I am not blown away by the decoration because it was literally done in two and a half minutes and everything was melting. But I know it tastes amazing. I'm really proud of the actual quality of the cake itself. But hey, it's like you said, at the end of the day, it's about the flavor. And as long as the flavor it tastes good, I think we're going to do great. I'm proud of us. I think we did well. We had a distinct theme and I think we stuck to it. It was a very great experience. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we executed everything that we planned and yeah, I'm happy. I'm quite happy. And hopefully it'll keep us out of uh, elimination. <laughs> we have a cake. We have a cake. I think the judges will love it. And I think we heroed our ingredients really well. And I hope that at least gets us in a safe spot. I think we're um, both a bit upset because this is not the truth. Um, this is not how we <laughs> do it. Um. So, yeah, Tom just got the most of us. We would try our best. <laughs> At least you've finished. Thank you. It's quite an interesting first bake, hey? We got to see a bit of emotion, mm. different kinds of emotions from all of them. Um, but I think it's really exciting how they all got to experience not only working as a team, but also a challenge where maybe some of them hadn't used an ingredient before. Yeah. So I think they had a very real experience of what this competition is about. And I think it exposed a lot for them to reflect on and say, OK, how do I do things better? So I'm excited to see what they baked. Mm. Right, let's bring on the first cake. I'm walking to the judges. It's an aha moment. We've done it. We've got a cake in front of us. Right, guys, first bake done. How are you feeling about your masterpiece? A bit nervous. We just hope the flavors will come through. 
I'm sweating, <laughs> I'm racing, and I'm thinking back is the entire process, what we did, how we did it, we could be wrong, we could have changed it. The apple puree is very welcoming, so comforting, a delicious flavor, and I love the texture. The sponge is quite dry, mm. it's overbaked a bit which takes away a lot of this experience. I think the berries were unnecessary, but I think the apple flavour is fabulous. Your other ingredient besides apple was rooibos. And for me, I think the rooibos needed to be amped up a little bit more, but you guys can be very proud of yourselves. You guys work amazing as a team. You accomplished a beautiful cake, so a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. It was a bit on the dry side and it dampened my mood. The excitement just went out the window. Working with the cake feels like a long walk to freedom. I'm praying to God you don't fall. Now all of a sudden she doesn't trust me. <laughs> this up? is not what we had initially planned. But we have a cake. I'm okay. I'm just okay. I'm not excited about the cake. Phoebe's taking deep breaths. It looks like you guys had a bit of a cake fight. Did you guys work okay as a yeah, team? Yeah, we did. You're wearing a lot of the cake on your aprons. We had fun together. Working yeah, we together did. Was a blast. I enjoyed working with her. Same here. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Yes. I am confident with the taste. I'm just not happy with the design of the cake. Because Aesthetically, it's not the one. Ladies, in my opinion, I, I, I think it's absolutely delicious. The lavender infusion, the ways that you did it in the berries, it's just so, so much more elegant than I expected. I thought it's going to be completely dominating, but I, I felt like you've restrained yourself just enough for it to be the hero. And the white chocolate obviously carries it very well, so that it's prominent, but not dominating. It's just enough smoke. It's not overpowering, very creative. I think you guys shouldn't be so hard on yourselves. This is a beautiful cake. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up, whose bake will impress the judges most? <laughs> Hello guys. Hello. My heart is beating so fast. And I look at Zola's face and I have butterflies in my stomach. Olin, you happy? Yes, Chef, I am happy. I definitely think we delivered what we thought and what we wanted to. The one thing that's running through my mind is not about how the cake is going to taste. About Zola. It's about Zola. <laughs> I look fine. <laughs> it's my apron clean. <laughs> the bacon mm. it does not move me, OK? It doesn't work for me necessarily. Like the little bits that I picked up in the cake, for me, it doesn't enhance the dish at all. Great texture of cake. It's that fudgy, rich chocolate cake and that peanut butter in the center really offsets that. What I did enjoy about the bacon element is actually the salt on the chocolate on the bacon. It, it made you want to eat more. You can certainly be proud of yourselves. Yeah. We, we can, can feel it. it. <laughs> I can feel it's it on it's my punners yeah. here already. <laughs> <laughs> making space, right? I, already, I am already making space for the mic. Yeah, we're planning where you're going to put it. <laughs> I'm very nervous about putting it in front of Zola and Fitz. It's a bit tense, but we did everything we wanted to do, so we're confident in it. Molly, as I've heard that you've watched a lot of Taste Masters, yes. have you? Tell me, how does this compare, this first challenge? It's a lot harder in real life. And you, Bongani, what was your favorite part of this challenge? The favorite part of the challenge in creating this cake is incorporating the cinnamon and the honey. I thought it was going to be easy, but it was not. Okay. It's taste. Fritz cuts into the cake, and I'm so glad you chose to do the four layers instead of two, because I think it looks really good. Very good. I hope we've done enough to finish in the top three. I think so. That is a delicious cake. I actually had to stop myself from eating more. The sponge texture is perfect. It's like the perfect tea cake. The amount of cinnamon, in the frosting is just enough honeycomb. It has a slight burnt caramel taste, which is exactly what you need for something this sweet. The texture of the honeycomb, really great. It looked beautiful. I think you did a wonderful job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the feedback we got, it's superb. Just Solo's reaction was just the best. Out of this world. I am feeling nervous as ever. There's a whole cake here. Mm. <laughs> a whole one, can you believe it? <laughs> it was indeed a mad rush at the end there. 
but you did put together a cake. So yes, we're proud of that's ourselves. A, that's a win, right? Yes. That is a win. What went wrong? Time management. Yeah. We overfilled our cake tins. Yeah, it was a nerve-wracking challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we are not feeling confident enough, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping ours tastes better than the rest of them, even exactly. the most beautiful looking <laughs> cake. I hope it tastes I think we could all agree that the look of the cake is not the most beautiful cake we've ever seen, but actually it's a decent cake. I think the textures of the nuts inside is a wonderful eating experience. I can definitely get hints of, of orange. I think you could have gone more yes. yeah. gutsy with the orange flavor. Your biggest downfall was definitely your time management and maybe your communication as a team. You know, at some point we thought that this was going to be a train wreck. Yeah. You know, in all honesty, that's as well. and I think, yeah. And it is clearly not. It is not your best effort, that's for certain. And time management is a massive component of this game. The judges are loving our cake. So that lifts so much weight off our shoulder because we're very, very nervous and very anxious. Don't trip, don't trip, don't trip. I don't want to fall. <laughs> that is. We've gone through enough to get this cake at this point. <laughs> so guys, hey, tough day in the kitchen. <laughs> I laugh when I'm nervous. I, I would say you guys had perhaps the most challenging two flavours to combine. How did you feel like you executed that? I actually feel like we nailed it. <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, in terms of the flavour, I think you really like subtle and I like to be like hit in the face with flavour. Let's so, them. <laughs> which all <laughs> very really strong. <laughs> I think the cake itself, from our idea, looks really good. I wouldn't agree on that. Safe to say, the cardamom definitely does knock you over. It's far too strong. It's so overpowering that you actually can't taste any other flavor. And coffee itself is a strong element and it completely disappears here. The um, buttercream as well is a little bit grainy. It's not as smooth as it could be. We whipped up buttercream, so how there's any grain in there, I actually don't know. First challenge done. Well done, everybody. It's very clear to Fritz and I that the standard of competition is even higher this season. Well done. Both of us feel like you married the Euro ingredients beautifully today, so thank you. As you all know, there can only be one team who will be crowned the winners of this challenge and will receive the Royal Baking Powder pin. That will give you a very handy advantage going into the next round. These blue aprons symbolize that you've won a challenge. On the chest, you'll notice a pin. These pins represent the challenge of the day. Today, it's a cake pin. As you progress through the competition, you can add these pins as you win the challenges. See it as like a badge of honor. Very nice. There were two teams who stood out today as the best cakes. If I call your team, please step forward. Molly and Bongani. <laughs> also step forward. Lesejo and Fifi. <laughs> Well done to both teams. Your cakes were absolutely beautiful. The winning team for today's challenge is... Team Lavender and White Chocolate. Well done, ladies. <laughs> yes! Good. I mean, having this team means that in the next round, we are safe. Added bonus, of course, both of you are walking away with the 42-liter AEG Grill Microwave Oven. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> well done, Molly and Bongani. Of course, you are safe from elimination. We're second place. That's pretty good. I'm so super excited because we are to the next round. Unfortunately, three of the four remaining teams we'll be heading into our very first elimination challenge. The team that is also safe from elimination is... Nolan and Palesa.
So for the top three teams, congratulations. You're moving on to the next round. And for the rest of you, we'll see you in the elimination challenge. Yeah, I, uh, so I literally smelled this from a mile away. I knew there's no way we're going to make it. And our competition is pretty tough. Well, hey. After a long day in the kitchen, what lessons were learned? Work with your time so effectively because stuff takes longer than you think. And work with your teammates. They say you didn't work with you. Just a little bit of help would have been nice. I made everything! I came in everything! I came with the baking <laughs> shorts. I made the buttercream and the pudding and the cake. <laughs> you at home, don't forget to bake more memories by entering this week's viewer challenge. We would love to see what you are able to do with today's challenge. Bake a two-level cake using any of the two hero ingredients that was used today on the Tastemaster set. Upload it onto socials using the hashtag the TastemasterSA and you could be the winner of your very own KitchenAid stand mixer plus a Pamela hamper. Happy baking everyone! Another feel-good production.